Shri Chong Group, founded in 1987, owns the entire value chain, from growing its own rubber plantations to manufacturing end products such as latex and nitro gloves and high-pressure hydraulic hoses through its subsidiaries, Shri Chong Agro Industry, the world's largest natural rubber producer, and Shri Chong Gloves, Thailand's largest medical glove maker. I caught up with the group's chairman and managing director, Waya Wood Sin Tsaram Kun in Singapore. Let's talk about the upstream, because the pandemic has clearly wreaked havoc on the natural rubber market. Prices remain volatile. How closely are you watching the price of this commodity? At what point, at what level, would it start to squeeze your margins? In the last, especially you look at the, the peak then in 2010, and rubber prices has always been coming down for the last 11 to 12 years, up to now. Yeah? It was the worst when the pandemic hit the, uh, uh, the industry. People were destocking, people were running away, defaulting and not buying all this, and the whole market collapsed. And you see a lot of casualties, a lot of, a lot of questions, also in Singapore, you see a lot. So how do you navigate through all this volatility? It's very important. Yeah. You don't. You don't try to be a smart guy in this uh, uh, space. Yeah. It's, you're never able to predict where the market is going to be. Put it in a way that you, are, you have to be really be uh, realistic. Yeah. You have to find ways of doing creating your margin for yourself. And how do you do that at Tree Trunk? You try to clean up the market. You can even take out the bank. You donate them because you can go straight to the farmers. You don't need all this because a company like us, we can even issue bonds, big bonds. Yeah? We can do a lot of uh, orderly manner with the farmer that we are focused in the manufacturing. That's why I always like to tell people, we are not a trader. We are not commodity trade. You don't tell me whether the market is going up or coming down. We just want to focus on manufacturing and that's what we are doing. We are putting new plants, putting new plants, putting new plants, and then the farmers, the people can bring in rubber. And you have a good, uh, 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 a fair price. You got a fair price that everybody can live. Consumers are happy, you are happy. I understand you're going to invest something like 2.3 billion Singapore dollars to triple your production capacity in the next few years. Once installed, what will total production capacity look like? Cap total capacity that will look like we hope by then it will be 20% of the world supply, our world demand and supply. So given the investment you're pouring into the business, do you think Sri Trang can overtake its Malaysian rivals to be number one in global glove production soon? Secret I, I, I ambition. I don't want to be number one. I, I think it's so difficult to maintain to be number one. You're number one in size, but are you the best? You know, uh, it's nice to be number three. Always look to up to be number two and uh, see how they go and they can guide you and then it really make, make and doesn't make any difference if one and two and three are so close yeah I really it doesn't matter yeah